Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, so in the last lesson, we made this leaflet map of conflict events in Yemen. And so in this lesson, I wanna show you how to customize this map a little bit. So first we're gonna uh, change the style of the markers. Then we're gonna change the content of the pop-ups um, so that when you click on it, it's gonna show you the date uh, along with that the event occurred that the conflict event occurred along with um, a breakdown of the deaths for rebels civilians and the government uh, associated with that conflict event um, and then we're going to change the base map okay so we have a lot on our agenda so why don't we go ahead and get started uh, so the first thing we're going to do is to change um, the style of the marker. First, we're going to use awesome icons to store the style of icon that we want. And then we're going to plug that into the leaflet map using the add awesome markers function. Okay. So we'll go ahead and say um, here, let's write a little text saying what we're going to do. Okay. And then we'll add a code chunk. We'll label it, change markers, and uh, from there, we're going to store our new marker style in an object called icon. And we're going to do that by using add, uh, awesome icons. And we tell it the, the style of icon that we want, and we are going to use the iOS close icon from the, from the Ionicon library. So uh, iOS close icon color equals black marker color equals red. So this is going to make red uh, markers with a black center, uh, essentially. Library equals ion. Okay, and then from there, uh, we will call our leaflet map like we did last time. So we can actually just go ahead up here and uh, and we can um, take through set view because we're going to change the marker part. And just take what we had the last time and we can put it down here uh, it doesn't like something up here let's find out what yes it's missing a comma all right and from here we're going to do uh, add awesome markers uh, and then we say icon equals icon. And then uh, the same code as last time, pop up. Okay, there we go. Now we've changed the marker style and everything else is the same so far. All right, one thing I want to tell you about here is that there's a number of libraries. You can look at the documentation uh, to see uh, what libraries are available and I have them linked on the course website as well um, but I'll just show you the one that we used uh, for this uh, for this particular example all right this is the Ionicons, Ionicons library okay and these are the icons uh, that are available and um, You've kind of got to play around with these. Uh, I think there's a little bit of lag between what's here and what's actually in the R leaflet package. Um, but not all of these work. Some of them do. And the same thing is true of the other libraries that, um, that are available, like Fun Awesome. Um, sometimes the icons work, sometimes they don't. Um, but if I know one that does work, let's see. Um, so the way you find the name is that you click on this and then you look down to the bottom of the page and this is off the screen for you, but I'll bring it up here and you can see um, 
the name is here. Name equals, this is alert circle outline. So this is the outline because it's not filled. But if we click on filled, then the name of that is alert circle. And this one is called alert. Okay, so what we can do is we can then go back and we can uh, change this to alert circle. Let's try that. Okay, actually it doesn't like that one. Let's try just alert. There we go. Um, so that, so alert works. Um, so like I said, you have to mess around with it. Some of these work, some of them don't. Um, all right, so we'll go back to what we had before there. Our next objective is going to be change the content of the pop-up. And uh, so we're going to do this in two steps. It's a little bit complicated, but bear with me. Um, so what we need here is we need some HTML labels, basically, to put in these pop-ups. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add a column to our data frame with the information for the labels. All right. And that has to be in HTML. So we have to use a package called HTML tools. All right. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, add this column. We're going to do GED underscore Yemen. That is the name of our data frame. And um, then we're going to create a column here, pop-up underscore text. And this dollar sign here is base R code. Maybe, maybe you remember from your last R class, this is base R code. And um, what we're telling R to do is create a new column for our data frame. And then what we're going to put in that uh, column is we're going to use a function called sprintf. What sprintf does is to return a formatted string using values in a list. Okay, so first we're going to put the text, we're going to define the text um, that we want along with some variables inserted in the text, and then we're going to fill the variables with values, with certain values, okay? So you'll see what I mean in a second. So this is the text we want. We want, we want to have a date. We want to have total deaths. Um, then we want a breakdown of government deaths. Then we want rebel deaths and then civilian deaths. That's what we want our marker or pop up to look like when the user clicks on it. All right. Okay. Now we're going to define the variables that are going to go next to each of these, you know, taglines essentially. So date is going to be a string. So we want this to be percent %s. All right, and then we're going to put very simple HTML code in here. We want less than br greater than, which stands for break. So after date, after the date, we want a line break. Then we want total deaths, and then we want our first value that we're going to define, which is going to be a numeric value. So that's what we're telling it there with percent point zero F. Then we're going to have another break. Okay. And then percent dot zero F another break. Then percent dot zero F then another break. And then uh, percent dot zero F, another break. Okay. 
And now we get to tell it, actually this needs to be here. And okay. Now we get to tell um, sprint F what values we want to go in each of these um, arguments. Okay. So GED underscore Yemen. So for the date, we're going to have date from our data frame, the date from our data frame. For uh, deaths, we're going to take deaths um, and so on. Uh, for government deaths, we want government deaths. Go deaths. For rebel deaths, we want rebel deaths. For civilian deaths, we want civilian deaths. Okay. Then we're going to take all of that and we're going to pipe it in to HTML tools, HTML function. So we're going to do L apply, line apply, which is going to apply this function to every line in our, every row in our data frame, HTML tools. HTML. All right. And then we can go ahead and glimpse the data frame to make sure that everything's there. All right. Fingers crossed. All right. All right. And here we go. We can see that our HTML is in there. Okay. So that's done. Um, so now what we can do is we can use that in our leaflet um, map code. We can take our pop-up text and use it for our pop-up label. Okay, so we can just go ahead. Let's just go up and grab this here. And we'll add another code chunk here. We'll label it. Okay, uh, so we'll paste that there and everything is going to say the same except instead of the pop-up we're going to have it be tilde pop-up text so that it puts that text in the pop-up. All right, let's go ahead and try that and see if it works. Okay, moment of truth. There it is. So the date, February 1st, 2021, the total number of deaths, uh, government deaths, rebel deaths, civilian deaths. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And we can click on this one. This was a really big event. Um, at the Mari Dam on uh, February 26, 2021, uh, there was a conflict event with uh, total 61 deaths, 34 government deaths, and 27 re rebel deaths. Okay, and then just to check uh, to make sure that everything's good here, let's add quickly uh, a code chunk where we filter just for uh, place, just for that event, Marib Dam. And let's see if, let's see if the conflict, the deaths are the same there. Government deaths, 34, rebel deaths, 27, total deaths, 61. Okay, so that looks good. And we can try some other ones here, like, uh, let's see, Kofal Camp. That looks like it had a uh, total of eight deaths. They were all government deaths. So we can filter for that event, Kofal Camp.
just to spot check the data. You know, it always helps to build your confidence. Okay, and so there were two events there, one on February 10th, one on February 16th. Um, the one that we were looking at is on February 16th, and yes, eight deaths, um, they were all government deaths, uh, all government soldiers who, who died in that event. All right, um, so one more thing I want to show you here. Let's change the base map. And this is actually really a simple thing to do. So we can just grab our code from up here that we just did. Paste that, change the label. And here, um, everything is pretty much gonna stay the same, except instead of add tiles, we are going to say add providers. This is the third party tile that we're using base map that you were using add provider tiles and open we're going to use open topo map All right and everything else is going to stay the same but now we have a really cool topo base map um, and we can see like the terrain where the events are occurring and we can see that a lot of it is actually occurring in these mountainous areas rather than say in the plains areas okay um which is oftentimes the case um with civil conflict we see rebels operating in mountainous areas and forested regions where it's harder for the government to penetrate or to you know track them down uh, we can go ahead and render this uh, just so we have final html document and there we go, there's our rendered HTML with our, um, with our leaflet maps and everything is working. Um, and here's our pop-ups with the additional information, the, addition, the, the um, uh, fancier base map uh, and everything is working. That's pretty much it. Um, that's the end of the module. You should have a pretty good idea of how to make a leaflet map, a uh, pretty good sense of how to make uh, you know, a map with markers, how to customize the pop-up, change the base map, etc.